<sighs> G'day there guys, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist, here in Revelstoke in British Columbia, Canada. I've been living here for a bit over a year now, and today I'm going to show you a day in the life of the Travelling Scientist. So the first thing I do every morning is make a big cup of tea and just chill for about 10 minutes. There's no rush, just take some time to relax, meditate, really take stock of life. But that's boring. Let me show you where I live. So I live here in the heart of Revelstoke. There's a nice cafe over there, that makes good coffees, just like back home. There's a sushi restaurant across the road. There's the local pub, which is very dangerously close. And then, yeah, this is where I live. I have a nice little desk there. I can get some work done. Got cable TV, not that I ever use it. A uh, nice big bed, which is super comfortable. Bit of storage, bathroom there, in the kitchen, I can do all my cooking, make some tasty food, and then if you look out this window here, well, there's my plant, you can see the local ski mountain, where I go nearly every day. It's covered in cloud right now, which doesn't look great, but I can look out the window and say, yes, I do want to go snowboarding today. Okay, now I'm done with my morning routine. It's time to do what I came to Canada to do, snowboard. Now I'm done snowboarding, I'm starving, so it's time to make some food. So we've got kale, mushrooms, and garlic with homemade baked beans and a poached egg on top. Doesn't look that amazing, but it's gonna be so good and healthy. Excuse me. Most afternoons I'll sit down and do some work on the traveling scientist doing research, editing videos, sending emails, things like that. It's probably really boring to you, but this is a day in my life, so shut up. Also, 
just want to show you guys where I'm working right now. It's a bit of a mission, but uh, let's go check it out. Yeah, so this is where I work. It's literally across the road from where I live, and yet I'm still almost always late. Anyway, I do bartending here. It's the 112 restaurant. Awesome place. Definitely come check it out if you're ever in Revelstoke. And luckily, I'm not actually working tonight. So instead, I want to show you guys something really cool. So here I am down at the Columbia River in Revelstoke. And sometimes I just come down here to sit and think. It's a really beautiful place. Now I've lived in this town for over a year now and I've done a lot of pretty cool stuff in that time. I've been snowboarding, paragliding. I went swimming in this river on Christmas day in the freezing cold. <laughs> you know, I never intended to live here for this long and the fact is that soon it's going to be time for me to move on and I don't really know where I'm going next. See, my visa is about to expire, but getting back home to Australia is really challenging right now. It costs thousands and thousands of dollars to quarantine and flights are really rare and usually cancelled. But with my visa expiring and no way to extend it, I'm not sure what other options I have. I could potentially travel to Central America or North America. They'll let me in but it doesn't seem like a really smart thing to do given the current global situation. So honestly, I'm not sure what's gonna happen next and that's a little bit scary. If you have any advice or ideas for me, let me know in the comment section down below because I don't know what the future holds for Jesse Crow. But still, I'm in a beautiful place and I'm gonna enjoy it while I'm here, so that's a day in the life of the traveling scientist, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any advice for me as to what I should do next, let me know in the comment section down below. Finally, make sure you subscribe for more traveling science every single week and to find out what I end up doing with my life. And I'll see you guys next Science Sunday. Cheers.